Other than the much needed rhinoplasty, there are no major changes for the 2017 Mercedes AMG SL63 and SL65. Instead, they get a thin gloss of revisions that are intended to sharpen their edges and capabilities. Our counterpoint is that especially in the case of the SL65 Warhammers aren't concerned with edges, they pulverize anything in the way, the impediments here being the time it takes to get from one distant point to another. The raw specs stay the same for both. The twin turbo, 6.0 liter V12 in the SL65 still posts 621 horsepower and 738 pound feet of torque. A slight tune means the hand built motor doesn't let every one of its horses out of the corral until 5,500 rpm, instead of the 4,800 to 5,400 rpm window of before. All 738 pound feet of torque show up to the party from 2,300 rpm to 4,300 rpm. The 5.5 liter, Twin turbo V8 in the SL63 continues to make do with 577 HP and 664 LB feet of torque. Acceleration times stay the same for both cars, 3.9 seconds from 0 to 60 in the SL65, 4.0 seconds in the SL63. The design revolution at Mercedes-Benz is in full swing, and the S-Class Cabriolet might be its greatest manifestation. Now, Daimler has crowned what is perhaps the most beautiful convertible on the market with a new top-of-the-line version powered by the twin-turbocharged AMG 6.0-liter V12. The AMG S65 Cabriolet's twin-turbo V12 rated at 621 horsepower and 738 lbft of torque, holds a slight advantage over the AMG S63 Cabriolet, which is powered by a 5.5 liter twin turbo V8 that produces 577 horsepower and is slightly less torquey at 664 lbft. Even so, the S65 won't be the fastest car among its siblings. The S63 is lighter and, unlike the S65, comes with all-wheel drive, allowing it to turn more power into propulsion instead of smoke and tire marks. Nevertheless, the S65 convertible can reach 60 miles per hour in a claimed 4.0 seconds, while top speed is governed at 186 miles per hour. Real-life fuel economy should hover around 15 mpg not bad, considering its performance. German design is supposed to be about restraint, about form following function. Bombastic flourishes and stylistic middle fingers are typically verboten, Mercedes-Benz design chief Gordon Wagner is fond of telling his staff to pull lines out of their designs. But with the AMG GTR, they went ahead and added a few, and you won't hear us complaining. The B-winged, B-splitter GTR exudes just the right amount of menace for AMG's new range topper. Under that mile-long hood, the GTR sports a twin-turbo V8 based on the one in lesser AMG GTS, but with a revised intake, new forged aluminum pistons, and a higher compression ratio. The output dial gets turned up, from 503 horses to 577, and from 479 pound-feet of torque to 516. A lighter dual-mass flywheel is said to engender quicker responses and powertrain feel akin to that of a naturally aspirated engine. The titanium exhaust pipes move to the center of the rear fascia, and the oral experience should be every bit as forceful as the visual one.
This AMG SUV will have you saying OMG ASAP, thanks to the 577 HP from its twin turbo 5.5 liter V8. That power routes through a 7 speed automatic to a rear biased AMG performance all wheel drive system. The roomy cabin has space for 7 in 3 rows of seating and coddles them with leather and wood trim throughout. Standard safety tech includes collision prevention assist, crosswind assist, and brake assist. Options include active lane keep, active cruise control, and blind spot assist. More power and less utility only makes sense when it comes to performance crossovers and the GLC 43 is no exception. Motivation comes from a 362 HP twin turbo 3 liter V6 with a 9 speed automatic and all wheel drive. Standard equipment includes a sport suspension, a sunroof, a power lift gate, keyless ignition, and a 7 inch infotainment display. Options include heated slash cooled front seats, heated rear seats, and an air suspension. Look for the GLC 43 in dealerships in early 2017. Mercedes has finally released the estate version of its 10th generation E-Class, and to go with it, the AMG E43 formatic variant. In typical Mercedes fashion, the new E43 estate features a more aggressive front end with a standard AMG grille, a set of stylish wheels on the side, and a nice diffuser element with revised exhaust outlets in the rear. Inside you'll find a black interior with red accents, sport seats, lots of leather, and a multifunction configurable double color display that features its own AMG graphics. Under the hood, you'll find AMG's 3.0 liter bi-turbo engine with a significant increase in horsepower and torque over the standard model, plus a 9-speed automatic transmission that feeds power to all four wheels. This Autobahn burner is headed for a freeway near you, packing a twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6 with 396 HP. A fast-shifting 9-speed automatic shoots that power to the road by a 4-matic all-wheel drive. Mercedes estimates a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds, top speed is 155 miles per hour. The interior has front sport seats and red stitching throughout, red seat belts make for maximum redness. An air suspension imbues the ride and handling with the right mix of sport and comfort. Look for the E43 in early 2017. The Edition 1 offers impressive driving dynamics at the highest level. All the right technical elements are there. Striking flared wheel arches to front and rear, a wider track and larger wheels give the new the C63 coupe a powerful appearance and also serve as the basis for highly responsive longitudinal and lateral dynamics. The AMG 4.0 liter V8 bi turbo engine, producing either 476 HP or 510 HP, guarantees spectacular performance, 
aided by the technologically advanced AMG Ride Control Specific Suspension with Electronically Controlled Shock Absorbers, AMG Dynamic Select Specific Driver Programs, a locking differential on the rear axle and the dynamic engine mounts of the C63S Coupe. Customers will get a few new features with their 2017 CLA class. Standard equipment includes active brake assist, which stops the vehicle automatically in a potential collision, and a rear view camera. Full LED headlights are optional on the CLA 250 and standard on the AMG version. Hands free access allows owners to open the trunk with a sweep of their foot under the bumper and it's part of the premium package. Both models carry over with the same powertrains. The CLA 250 is available in front or all-wheel drive with a 7-speed automatic gearbox and a 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder with 208 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The CLA 45 AMG has 375 HP and 350 lbft of torque from its turbocharged 2.0 liter, which is also mated to a 7 speed automatic. Daimler's Mercedes AMG Performance Division is expanding by taking over the former AMG Sport models and turning them into full fledged AMGs. The change was ushered in by the Mercedes AMG SLC 43 and Mercedes AMG C43 sedan. The C43 coupe is, of course, the sister model to the latter car, and the two are virtually identical in content. The C43 Coupe complements the C63 Coupe, that apex predator that stakes a claim to superiority with a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 and a heavily modified, muscular body that evokes the AMG GT. But the C43 Coupe is pretty high up on the food chain itself. in full swing, and the S-Class Cabriolet might be its greatest manifestation. Now, Daimler has crowned what is perhaps the most beautiful convertible on the market with a new top-of-the-line version powered by the twin-turbocharged AMG 6.0-liter V12. The AMG S65 Cabriolet's twin-turbo V12, rated at 621 horsepower and 738 lbft of torque, holds a slight advantage over the AMG S63 Cabriolet, which is powered by a 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8 that produces 577 horsepower and is slightly less torquey at 664 lbft. Even so, the S65 won't be the fastest car among its siblings. The S63 is lighter and, unlike the S6, but with the AMG GTR, they went ahead and added a few, and you won't hear us complaining. The B-winged, B-splitter GTR exudes just the right amount of menace for AMG's new range topper. Under that mile-long hood, the GTR sports a twin-turbo V8 based on the one in lesser AMG GTS, but with a revised intake, new forged aluminum pistons, and a higher compression ratio. The output dial gets turned up, from 503 horses to 577, and from 479 pound-feet of torque to 516. A lighter dual-mass flywheel is set to engender quicker responses and powertrain feel akin to that of a naturally aspirated engine. The titanium exhaust pipes move to the center of the rear fan-built motor doesn't let every one of its horses out of the corral until 5,500 rpm instead of the 4,800 to 5,400 rpm window of before. 
All 738 pound-feet of torque show up to the party from 2300 rpm to 4300 rpm. The 5.5 liter, twin-turbo V8 in the SL63 continues to make do with 577 hp and 664 lb-feet of torque. Acceleration times stay the same for both cars, 3.9 seconds from 0 to 60 in the SL65, 4.0 seconds in the SL63. The design revolution at Mercedes-Benz Other than the much-needed rhinoplastic, there are no major changes for the 2017 Mercedes-AMG SL63 and SL65. Instead, they get a thin gloss of revisions that are intended to sharpen their edges and capabilities. Our counterpoint is that especially in the case of the SL65 warmers aren't concerned with edges, they pulverize anything in the way the impediments here being the time it takes to get from one distant point to another. The raw specs stay the same for both. The twin-turbo, 6.0-liter V12 in the SL65 still posts 621 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. A slight tune means the X-T5 comes with all-wheel drive, allowing it to turn more power into propulsion instead of smoke and tire marks. Nevertheless, the S65 convertible can reach 60 miles per hour in a claimed 4.0 seconds, while top speed is governed at 186 miles per hour. Real life fuel economy should hover around 15 mpg not bad, considering its performance. German design is supposed to be about restraint, about form following function. Bombastic flourishes and stylistic middle fingers are typically verboten, Mercedes-Benz design chief Gordon Wagner is fond of telling his staff to pull lines out of their designs. <laughs>